Hi, Jim and welcome to another Minecraft modern tutorial. Today we're going to be going through another block state, and this is going to be property bull today. So, in the description, there will be this method here that you can um, get off me. And the, these are basically because at the moment, what we've got, we've got um, metadata with our block state, but like. Um, for a boolean, I don't really think you want metadata. So here's all the stuff you need for if you don't want metadata. So you, you can just copy and paste that. There'll be a link in the description. And I'm going to be putting this onto this property block breaker. And straight away, getting into it, it's a public static final property bool. And I'm going to call it active. And it's equal to property bool. Hold on, property bool dot create, and all it takes in is the f name, and that's pretty much a lot of it. So here we're going to add active to our list, and then to be honest, uh, we need to change the default state as well. So here we've got the dot with property. So before this bracket, you want to do another dot with property, active value, and boolean dot value of, and then value of false. So it's not going to be active. That's my default one. You have to do this for some reason. That's just how it works. I've checked with um, the command block code. So this is where I got this from, or some of it. And yeah, so to be honest, that's all you really need to do. But obviously, we're going to have to do this with our model files. So, if you go into our block breaker thing here, we've got type wood, but we can't, we have to actually put a comma on this. Now, it goes alphabetically. So, we've got to do active equal to true and false. So, I'm going to put false then put a comma and all of these are just going to be the false one so all the other ones you're going to have to make another model yay so i'm just going to change the texture so i'm going to copy and paste these i'm just going to put on here underscore active and there we go can get out of that models i'm going to go it this way because this is how i like to do it and then that one sorry i'm so used to going to the other one because of my mod making that i do on my own uh, models and it's block and um because it's not got any metadata it's just going to be like zero because it's just going to be true or false and uh Block breakers, all of you, control C, control V, and then um, open these up. And I'm just going to put underscore active on the end. So we've got to do the same for the item models. Yay! And now we need to just texture these.
Okay, so at the moment, that that should be all the detection done, but it won't actually show whether it will show that's true or false. But like, you we can't like tell it when it's going to be true, when it's going to be false. The active. So if we do get actual state, and it's just going to return. So um, just to return the default, but um, I'll do an if statement. So if I do if uh, world in, I'm going to change this to world. It just annoys me when it's world in. Um, if world dot get block state at the block pass dot uh, up. So the one above it. Is it if we when we do property direction, I, I'm this will be different. So if we get the block state for the one up and then we just dot get block is not equal to um, nothing. So if there is a block above us, we're going to make sure it's going to be active. So we're going to return state dot with property active and the value is going to be boolean dot um, value of false no true so that's just going to say to do true and else so if it isn't we're going to make sure we're going to return the state dot with property active boolean dot value of and false. There we go, we should be able to run the game and we should see that everything works. Okay, so the error is in here. So, I accidentally put a comma on the end, like the clever person I am. So, fingers crossed, when we run our game, everything will work. So let's just wait for the game to load up, I guess. Okay, so the game is loaded up, so we should see everything is working now. I hope it is. So, yep, we have a block breaker, and if there's a block above it, active is true, active is false, active is true. I do not see a texture change. Oh, I do. Maybe I didn't change the texture. There we go. That is that is cool stuff. I need to change that texture. But um, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Hell yeah. So that is Property Ball. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you did. All the support would be greatly appreciated. I am out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So yeah, go check them out.